it is Tuesday what is going on guys welcome back to the channel happy Tuesday as always Tavi checking in we are live back here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 hope everybody's Tuesday is going well week is off to a good start we are back in the flight deck Back in the Citation Longitude Working Title G3000 mod, uh, beautiful airplane we are flying today. Flying a new livery as well. Looks like it's called uh, Excellence Virtual Private Air Service. Nice snazzy new livery we picked up last week. Uh, we are in beautiful Alaska starting our Alaska week this week we'll be flying all through Alaska this week starting off here today in Skagway Alaska uh, we'll be heading up to um, Valdez Airport um, in Valdez Alaska and continuing our trek through Alaska this week on Thursday and then on Sunday as well so that's the plan uh, flight time today up to Valdez is hour 31 minutes in the air. We've got nine passengers, 500 pounds of cargo. Takeoff weight about 31,000 pounds, 5,800 pounds of gas. <clears throat> so that is the plan. We got some interesting weather here in Alaska. And one thing I forgot to do so that it is not dark uh, when we get there is move our yeah it would have got dark in about an hour so I forgot to take our time back quite a bit because it's only it's not very light out in uh, Alaska this time of year for very long so I want to dial back the <clears throat> the time just so it's not pitch black as we're flying through the mountains and all that good stuff and you guys can't see a thing so that is the plan uh, super excited to do some flying with you guys today in this beautiful Citation Longitude. Uh, thank you all for you know hanging out with us, stopping by if you do. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and happy to have you for today's stream and chat. Um, and there is our cue on the tunes. So we will close out the tunes. Um, and if you're new to the channel or watching live, please say hello in chat. Uh, love to hear from you. Yeah, here's the sun over here. It's like it just rose a couple hours ago, and then it's going to go down in a couple hours. So interesting. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys for stopping by, as always. Appreciate any and all support. Um, and if you guys do enjoy today's stream and want to show your support to the channel, uh, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. That would be much appreciated, and it is a huge help. Uh, to the channel, um, and I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday afternoons. Uh, so if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for all of our future streams and videos and all that good stuff. So we are here live on the ramp in Skagway, Alaska. We got some windy cloudy weather here today so that we will just have to put up with because we are still rocking the um, live weather just not the live time so it doesn't get dark on us let's jump in the cockpit here let's get two out of the way parking brake always kicks off when i go to <clears throat> in and out of drone mode uh, so I'm just going to turn off the these map lights before I start because they always are on 100% and the floodlights. So let's go back down here. Let's set up. I like to set up the fuel and weight and balance uh, before we kick it off. So today we have 5,800 pounds of fuel. So let's drag our slider to 40. Yeah, we'll do 41. Take a little extra if we can. 
So 59 instead of 58, that's fine. And then, uh, <clears throat> cool, nice. Um, and then we'll do 31,000 pounds, 31,1 is our, that's well, 18%, 18%, 31,1, .1. that looks groovy there. <clears throat> so we will come back to that panel here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to go, I need to reset up these cameras. I'm going to go left and right batteries on. Right here, I got them pro. I got them mapped for my yoke, my TCO Boeing yoke. Uh, and then we'll get the standby power on. Uh, and then let's go. Let's hit B. We set our altimeter. Beautiful. Let's jump up top. Get our tail light and recog or nav lights on. <coughs> and. Oops. Okay. Oops, I just turned them off. There we go. Wrong button. There we go. Um, what else do we got? Oh, we forgot the emergency exit lights. Let's go arm you. Now let's go back down here. And let's go APU. Start you up. Starting. Listen to her fire up. Just signed on to the VAT sim network on V Pilot and filed our flight plan. It's usually pretty quiet up here in Alaska, so we will most likely be on Unicom today. Because, yeah, there's just usually not much ATC in Alaska, but that is all good. We're still going to enjoy the beautiful scenery while we can. Uh, what else do we? Need APU is on 100%. Let's go APU Gen on. That is good to go. And we'll just go down to our radios now. We're going to squawk 2000 for Unicom. Enter that. Whoops. Uh, and we'll go on for now. And then we'll go TA only uh, when we get ready for departure. And then let's go 122.8 transfer. So we are on the Unicom coupe. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> now we can start with our. Actually, do we have a SID today? I don't think we do. No. So we are here at Skagway. Airport in Alaska. Short runway, 3,500 feet, so we're going to have to uh, use all the runway we can today. Uh, let's see. Open charts. Is there a SID? I doubt it. Yeah. Nope. So we'll probably just go runway heading out of here. Looks like that's what it's looking like-ish, and updates, I don't care. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our, get our, uh, whoops, let's go home, zoom our map in a little bit. Let's get our flight plan going here. So we are at P-A-G-Y. Skagway. To enter that destination, we are going to PAVD today, Valdez Airport. Beautiful. And let's see, procedure, departing runway. What are the 
Let's see what the METAR tar is. Winds are 200 at 13, gusting 21. Pretty warm, or pretty windy. Um, temperatures 2, 2 9 or 6, 8 on the altimeter, which it says 2, 9, 7, 1, but it's all good. So we are going to do runway 2, 0, not 0, 2. Um, and then we'll go, see, I don't know why you can't load the runway at least. It's so weird. Arrival. Let's see what our arrival is going to be for today. Let's go pav D. Winds look calm, I guess. So let's open up the, probably do either. Uh, let's go open charts. Probably runway six would be ideal. So let's go approach. <clears throat> oh, I thought there was. Yeah, whatever this is. Is this uh, LDA? What is LDA? Um, arrival. All runways. Okay. Approach. Uh, we're going to do RNAV B. What's RNAV B? Let's see. Let's see what our f transitions are. J O H or naked? Or is naked? Not seeing naked on there, so let's go with. JOH for now, and we will load that. And let's go back and back again. And we're going to need to, there's our approach, um, enter some waypoints here. So we're direct to H, whoops, eight. Oh, geez. I always think that's the H and S, direct to. Actually, no, we're supposed to do it. Oh, yes, this is so annoying. Forgot you have to enter these in backwards for whatever reason. Um, let's do. Well, JOH is already on there, but let's do JOH. And then there is a airway here. Load airway entry. Actually, no. That would be our exit. Um, insert. And then let's do yak y a k. Enter. And then should we load the airway here? Airway is V three nineteen. Boom. Exit at JOH. JOH, load airway, and I think I already had JOH on there, so we need, yes, we need to delete you. And, and of course our approach is gone, because whatever reason, um, so let's delete this, I guess, for now. So we got JOH, V319, YAC, and then for YAC, we are direct to HNS. That's our first fix. Direct HNS. Enter Haynes. Boom, boom, boom. That looks good. And it deleted our... Uh, arrival for whatever reason. So let's see procedures approach. We're going to RNAV JOH load. Let's see if I didn't break it. Oh, desynchronize what? Shenanigans. Oh, this is so annoying. Why can't this? I can't wait for the G5000.
I hope this is really resolved. This is so annoying. Approach. Yes. And why isn't it synchronized? Why is it desynchronized? <sighs> Where is our arrival airport? Okay. Uh, procedures. Arrival. Yeah, can't really just select runways. I've already selected this. So why is it desynchronized? Please delete the active plan to resolve. Why? Oh, this is so annoying. Um, let's see why this is so stupid. Aggie. Next, Haynes, Yak, then our airway, JOH transition, JOH, and then into the approach, right? So, why isn't the, I know, you're annoying. So do I need to just get rid of the approach? Let's try that. So Yes, remove it. Load. Try this again. No, because the runway is not after it. Yes, I get it. You're annoying. <coughs> hey, what's going on, Bartek? This is the beta. No, this is the G3000 uh, working title uh, mod. No beta. I don't. I'm not that special to get a beta. Um, but hopefully next month we will get the G5000. Fingers crossed for the citation longitude. Um, yeah, this is really annoying. Yes, I get it. You're annoying. Let's go to show on map, trim you off. Uh, Delete flight plan. Let's just start over because this is really annoying. Paggy. Okay, Paggy. Whoops. Pag. Oh, Jesus. Paggy. Enter. I'm going to add my waypoints now. Uh, so let's go. Oh, let's see. We have to add them like last first. I don't know why this is so complicated. This should be <clears throat> not rocket science. Um, Peggy, first one is HNS. Let's try that, I guess. No, because it has to be before in route. Uh, Chihuahua. So let's go. Be J O H, or no, it'd be Yak. I think. Let's try Yak first. Y A K. My chair up so I can. And then, before Yak, we'll direct to H N S. H N S. Boom. And then Yak. There's an airway. B three nineteen. Exit at J O H. Load it. Which, that's weird that JOH is in. And then after JOH, we are direct to Olio, which I think is already on the approach, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so we'll just skip that waypoint for now. Add destination, will this P-A-V-D Valdez and then can I do the approach? Transition, JOH, load. Will this desynchronize and give us the nonsense? Let's see. Uh, I think 
That's right. Right? And the scroll does not work. There we go. Have D. Why is this not loading? The maybe it's the um, maybe I'm doing the wrong approach. LDA. I don't know. They're not marked right. Procedure. Maybe it's the loc G. Try that. Maybe it's that one. There we go. Patey. Oleo. Oleo. Yep, that's it. Cool. All right. And it has the constraints in there too. Wow. But I was gonna have to do those. Okay. Figured that out. Took long enough. Did it delete everything else? Nope. Alright. Finally. Jesus. Alright, show a map. Let's zoom it in, make sure. Let's see where we're at here. And let's scroll through. Let's go down. Haynes, then Yak, then our airway, J O H transition and then into the approach that all looks good beautiful took longer than we wanted but flight plan is thankfully done and our vnav button disappeared so that's great don't know why VNAV disappeared and this just does not scroll. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to be direct to H and S first. All right, that took entirely too long, but we will be on our way now. Let's get our yoke back up here. So Archer is good. We have no SID, so we are going to set our cruise. 41,000 feet for today. And we can't enable VNAV for whatever reason. Um, let's see, we'll go runway heading for takeoff, which would be, let's see, what's our runway heading to, doesn't give it to us for whatever reason. All right, so we'll just do it when we get on the runway, if we don't forget. Cool, let's go to our weight and balance here. We need our trim set. So via our chart here, we are CG's 20, let's just round up 26. So 26, uh, negative, so we'll go one, two, three, and four on the trim set for takeoff. Speed bugs. Oops, kind of needed that. What's our takeoff weight's gonna be 31,000 pounds. So we are gonna be so our speed bugs at 109, 109 for V1, 112. B R 124 for V2 and 185. Boom. All on. That is good to go. Let's set our speed. We'll just hit manual and we'll set we'll set 240 on the climb. Probably do 250 after that. The speed is good to go. We'll set our nav source to FMS. And then we'll probably be GPS for the approach. So we'll set that for a bearing one. And we are ready to start her up. So let's go up top. We'll get our beacon on. And what else do we need? 
we need to open the fuel valves. Where are they at? I think it's right here. There it is. Fuel valves open. Uh, let's go to. We'll set our uh, run, right? Yeah, run. And then start button for number two. Starting up. And we'll go outside. Let's do our fire up. Wrong button. Cool. Number. Oh, I gotta remember these buttons. Cool. So we can shut our starter off on number two. Set left engine to run and left starter engaged. And she is spooling. Listen to a fire up. Engine one, good to go. Our parking brake, uh, we need to get our starter off. And let's go left and right gins on. UPU gin off, bus tie open, and APU off. APU is pulling down. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, altimeter. We can reset that. Still 2971. That's good. Reset our camera here. Let's go flight director on. And it's going to reset our heading. But we'll just reset that on when we get on the runway because it's doesn't give us the heading on the chart for whatever reason. Now it's going to be 200 and something. So we'll set that. <clears throat> we'll just set it somewhere around 190. All right. Uh, then we will go flaps one. Takeoff set. Speed is already set. Flight controls up, down, lefty, righty, right rudder, left rudder. Good to go. 
and we'll go transponder TA only. That is on. And taxi lights coming on. Oops, let's go back. And our V speeds were 109 for V1. Let's get our timer up there. And let's go taxi light on. And parking brake has a mind of its own. Parking brake can go off, and we are rolling. Let's roll. So two zeros in front of us. So we are going to taxi straight ahead. We'll go runway heading for takeoff out of here. <clears throat> and one second, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on, give me a minute, guys. I need to check something. I need to go muted real quick. All right, sorry about that. Had to take care of something real quick. So this is two zero here. Uh, let's hold short really quick. Uh, but yeah, Bartek, I wish this was beta. I would have loved that. That would be awesome, but nope. I do not get a beta, unfortunately. Um, Let's see, I was going to double check. Whoops. Our chart here. So, two, zero, takeoff. I'm assuming we are the only bird whatsoever in the area on the Batsim network. Yep. So, let's do this. Let's get out of the chart and on here. Uh, let's go checklist. Let's get all of the heats on that are in front of the first officer's uh, yoke. So we'll go pedo heat, anti-ice on the engines and winglets, not winglets, the um, wings. Hey brownies, what's going on? Just in time for takeoff. Let's get our all of our lights on, landing lights strobes, wing lights. We are lit up like the Christmas tree. Let's go. Let's go to Valdez, shall we? <clears throat> we still need to set our uh, runway heading here. It's so odd the, the chart does not give us a uh, runway heading. Look at those mountains right in front of us too. So looks like we're going to go down the lake or down the river here too. Uh, so let's, what's our runway heading now? 210. So it's probably about two. We'll set 202. Why not? All right. We are good to go, guys. Let's do it. We are going to go uh, first we need to start the clock and board our air time. So we'll go flaps up at 400 feet and arm the auto throttle in the air. Let's hold the brakes. Let's pull them up here. Stable at 40. And let's go toga. And we're off. 
Let's go. 80 knots. Coming up on V1. Let's go rotate. And positive rate gears coming up. There's 400 feet. Let's go flight level change. Auto throttle armed. And we'll start our left turn here. And let's go nav mode. Engaged. Direct to Heinz. Right down the river and avoid these mountains. Let's actually go 250 on the speed. Follow the purple arrow. Flight level changes usually all over the place, unfortunately. And yeah, we're back on track. Going through the clouds. Let's go autopilot. Got us. And we are moving along. Up and through the mountains. Oh, we got to go through the cockpit for the breakout here. Fly guy, what's going on? Looking forward to the working title fixes and permits to this beautiful road. She deserves so much love. Absolutely, me too. I am stoked for the G5000. We are 8,000 feet per minute. <laughs> we are moving. We are at 10,000 feet, so we can go. We'll go to. We'll go 290 on the climb now. And 10,000 feet, let's go. Landing lights, taxi lights off. And we will be on our way. Yep, so we're direct to Heinz right now, then we're gonna make a right turn north and get back on track here. Looks like there's a lot of clouds, but yes. Yeah, absolutely, Fly Guys. Awesome, awesome departure. Beautiful mountains, the snow, clouds, all the good stuff. We'll stay on the right side for now. On our way. Let's do it. So after takeoff checklist, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Let's jump back up front real quick. We can go hit B on the keyboard, reset our altimeter standard. Two nine or nine or two, and we are moving right along. Yeah, I gotta love Alaska. Absolutely amazing. All the mountains. Stay on the sun side for for a bit. All right, climb it to forty one thousand feet. Actually, since we're through the clouds, we can go. Uh, what is my camera? A my camera number for. There it is. We'll get the wing ice protection and engine ice protection off. The tail isn't, that's in op. 
can only choose from these two. We'll leave the pedo heats on. <coughs> and we're moving. Let's zoom our range out a little bit. Let's go like 40, 40 miles. I wonder, that must be, this white line must be the Alaska-Canada border, I'm assuming. The squiggly line here. That's what I'm assuming. So we're kind of going over... Shortcutting over Alaska. Or Canada, I should say. Cool. Good stuff. Awesome. On our way. Let's go back to the wing. Fly guy. It's late here in the UK. It's a time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Fly guy. Appreciate the support. Absolutely. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat. Sleep well. We will catch you in the next one. Flight and sub. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support, my friend. Good to see you. We will catch you in the next one for sure we'll be back on thursday at uh 3 p.m Pacific standard time and thursday we'll be going uh valdez uh alaska over to uh-oh we're over speeding let's knock our Speed down a little bit here. Can we do two? No, we need to go way lower than 280. 278. Will that work? Nope, still too fast. Can we redline it? We only got 3,000 and change feet to go to. Cruise. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're going to have to go down more. 264. Will that work? 264-ish. Well, that might do. Oh, I forgot our cameras. Our Oh, I hear you. 260? Can we do 260? Here comes cruise. Uh, let's get the tunes pulled up here. Can. This, uh... What are we doing, iTunes? Are you hanging out? There we go. Alright, let's play some jams. This is our cruise already. That was fast. Quick fast. Nine minutes to 41,000 feet. Still overspeeding. 255? 253? 254. Let's try that. Bum 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 bum. Guess we can bug our heading on two sixty. Just good practice, I always forget. All right. Cruising. Mach 0.85, 41,000 feet. Over beautiful Alaska slash Canada now, since we're kind of cutting across, cutting across Canada. Let's go with the belly cam for a minute. 
check out some mountains while we can. Snow caps. Beautiful. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying today's stream, want to show your support to the channel as always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Would greatly appreciate it. We got plenty of streams coming up. More trips, more scenery, more liveries, all that good stuff, more airplanes. Looking forward to you guys joining us. <clears throat> yes, indeedy. Scorpio, what's going on? Thanks for hopping in the streaming chat. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. FPS, uh, right now I'm at FPS is 41, 40 and 41, which is pretty typical, cruise, then we're typically around 20 to 30 frames on the ground, so we're at 40, cruising here at 41,000 feet. Let's go over, since we're at cruise already. Let's cover our scenery for today, which will only have technically one, where we uh, just took off from, because Valdez Airport, where we're headed to, um, is part of one of the updates. Let me double check and see. Let's see which update Valdez Airport was from. So this is Valdez. <clears throat> so Valdez was, oh, that was a part of World Update 10, PAVD. That's where we're headed. So I don't have any screenshots of that airport since it came with, uh, I want to say the Deluxe Microsoft Edition, which is what I have. The top, whatever, Deluxe, Premium Deluxe, whatever it's called. Um, so this is where we took off from today. If you guys want to check out this airport on flightsim.to, P-A-G-Y is the airport code, Skagway Airport, Skagway, Alaska. So it's probably hard to see a lot of this because it was pretty cloudy, but you got the cruise ships, all the detail on the boat port here. It's the runway, small runway. It's only a 3,500 foot single runway. So nice little GA airport for some smaller birds or small jets some aerial views got an open hangar here that's where we uh, loaded up from today on the GA ramp there's some more shots of the cruise ships and I think we're back at the top so it's kind of nestled right at the bottom of this hill and all of the mountains in the area so a nice little nice little airport tucked away in the valley here in Alaska. Shout out to Spider MN for this scenery and airport. Uh, hasn't been updated in about nine months. Didn't seem to have, because it's you know, obviously not compatible with Sim Update 11, but didn't seem to have any issues. Uh, looks like he also has a bunch of other airports. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of his work on flightsim.to. 
and then our livery for today. Let's see if I can find it qu quickly. <coughs> it was the excellent livery, which is one of my favorites so far. Some really good selection of liveries on flightsim.to for the longitude as well that I was not really aware of. I haven't flown it since my, since Flight Sim 2020 was released. I think I only flew it a couple times and that was literally two years ago. Ah, here it is. Longitude Excellence. So if you guys search this on flightsim.to, should be the first, probably only one that pops up, courtesy of Monster Matty. Shout out to him for this awesome livery. Let's get some shots of it. It's got like the, whatever you want to call it, an eyelash thing on the, on the window. Love that. I think it's like white. Was it white, brown, and gray? I want to say is the colors. <clears throat> Virtual Private Air Services. That is the company. Excellence. Pretty sweet. Nice, nice livery. Love this livery. That looks like Aspen airport that's sharp I think we're back at the top yeah first picture yeah really nice nice livery loving this one so that is our freeware uh, for today And we can go over some of our, some of the Microsoft updates, news and all that good stuff that is coming or that's been teased, some teasers. We'll check those out shortly. Let me turn off the wing lights for now. There we go. And I want to check something. Whoa. Scary stutter. So, being that I put the. That's so weird. It got rid of the V nav button. How does that happen? Must have been how I put in the flight plan then. So now I do not know where our TOD is really. And we're direct to Yak right now. Which it's also not like highlighting that. Huh. Yeah, must have not have liked how I put in the uh, light plan. All right, so I guess I Still have some figuring, figuring out to do there. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Still figuring out the the whole Garmin flight plan thingy. Uh, 
trying to find my... Yeah, so that's interesting. Well, hopefully... Being that it's not highlighting our waypoint where... Well, it is on up here, but not on the Garmin touch display down here. <clears throat> huh. Yeah. Don't know. Here's our next... Interesting. All right, we're good for now, though. <clears throat> is that the Pacific Ocean next to us? It sure is. There's our route. Looks like we're heading northwest. And I don't think I set our set our approach here. Let's go back. Uh, let's see, set approach. <coughs> and we just did this one, right? Yeah, transition J O H. And let's overlay the chart. If we can. Is it not working? Oh, you can't open the chart either? So can we do it this way? Open charts. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to pin it. <clears throat> Looks like, what was that? Vancouver Center? Signed on? Yeah, but we are technically out of it anyways. Not much traffic over here on, Vat, on the Vatson network today. It's kind of quiet. Actually, it says usually Sim Toolkit Pro will give us our TOD. It's not not giving it to us today. It gave us our top of climb, but not. Whoa! What I do? Where is TOD, you know? All right. That's interesting. It's not going to miss TOD either. Well, wait. <laughs> Bruh, what are you doing over here? <laughs> that doesn't look like, look right. Maybe before castle. Maybe it just got off the line. That's funny. Little bug. All good. So I haven't been able to find. Because <clears throat> this nav the new Navigraph charts. Do they show you top of descent? That's something I've never found on Navigraph. I think I'm just not looking in the right place. Hmm. Don't you know? Uh, 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 uh. 
the uh, SoFly weather preset is good. I do not use that. I don't think I've heard of that one. I just use the uh, regular Microsoft uh, weather. But that is good to know. Thanks, Scorpy, for the the uh, heads up on that one. I I yeah I haven't used any any weather plugins or add-ons. <clears throat> I'm just digging the uh, the default uh, Microsoft weather so far. But appreciate the. Uh, Heads up on that one. If anybody wants to check it out, take a look at it. For sure. Alright, let's see. We got some got some updates. There was a it was an Embraer. What bird was that? I'm on fselite.net. Actually, let's start down a little lower. A few more news. Why can I not do more? All right. I guess it won't let us view any more. What do we got here? Microsoft, Xbox, Westmaster Side Stick Review. It's a great side stick. I have that as well. Oh, it was just taking forever to load. Wait. Triple seven X is in the plan for PMDG. Cool. Yeah, the flight FX uh, Cirrus jet was released. I think we went over that last week. Okay, here's where we were. The uh, Embraer 175 by Flight Sim Studio. This was the one I saw. Let's mute that. Hit play if we can. 45 second uh, demo. Looks pretty good if we can increase the size for you guys. Nice bright lights, looks good. Cool. That was kind of quick. Let's run it back one more time. It's like a short, uh, medium range uh, airliner. Nice. Looks good. I want to say those are only really used in the airlines. I don't think there will be any... I doubt there will be any BizJet or cargo variants of that. So probably more so for folks that fly the airlines and such. So, <clears throat> probably, I probably won't pick this one up, but it's always awesome to see new birds landing in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Some of the screenshots. Uh, oh, can't increase the size of the screenshots, unfortunately. So, is there a date? Um, doesn't look like there's a date mentioned. Yeah, probably get more updates. Probably kind of still early. I and I seen releases Detroit. That must be the uh, Detroit International. Awesome stuff. 
Um, what else do we got? Vienna Airport version 2 by Gaia Simulations. What else do we got? Austin Bergstrom International Airport released. Uh, what else? What else? Preview video of the Fokker F28. Airport Prague. Nice. Released. Lots of airports uh, being released. Nice. All for Microsoft Flight Sim. Cool. So, looks like this one. Let's go mute and play. And let's go ahead and increase the size again. The Fokker F. 28. The door is so close to the cockpit. That's funny. Nice. Don't see these very often in the United States anyways. Good detail, got a cargo hold, doors open. Nice. Yep, uh, cargo doors. Nice. Looks like all the doors open. Nice. Three two seat configuration. There's the galley. There's the cockpit. Very seasoned cockpit with the detail. With all the smudges and dirt and stuff. Looks good. Cockpit lighting at the red lighting or the regular. Nice. Switches in action. Nice window wing view of the engine. Lighting. Sweet. Just flight. Nice. Awesome stuff. So that's the Fokker F28 in development. I doubt they have a release date set to. Still underway and under development, so cool stuff. Always, always exciting. Getting new birds. In Microsoft Flight Sim. Yes, indeed. All right, we are making our way up the coastline. Actually, can we see the coastline? A little bit. Looks like it's here. A little bit, a wee bit. Uh, one thing I wanted to check. jump back up front here for a minute was 
Why can I not enable the VNAV? So interesting. I guess I'm still figuring out uh, longitude. But it is interesting. Before I had to, I had to put in all the constraints. But it looks like I figured out. I set up the flight plan correctly. And it put them all in here. So 7,800 at Oleo, 6,400 at Patey, and Jeekin. This is 5,700, but it's supposed to be 6,000. And then uh, low sib, 5,500. And then our touchdown zone. What is our runway? Airport 121. Interesting. All right. Uh, well, let's see. Can we put our minimums in here? Oh, the minimums are only on... Are only over here. Oh, looks like it. For to minimums. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it's a circle to land approach. Interesting. So our minimums are gonna be 4460. Enter. Yeah, so it's a circle of land approach. We're just gonna fly it straight in. That's so interesting that they're, why would this be a circle to land approach? Yeah, we're just gonna fly it straight in. Timer, 38, 39 minutes in the air so far. Well, yeah, this will be interesting to see. I guess we'll still have to kind of guess our top of descent here, since it's kind of out of whack for some reason. We'll just say halfway between Katat and Castle, I suppose. Now, cool. Let's go back to Navigraph. So let's see. Since we can't enable VNAV for whatever reason, oh, now it's desynchronized. It wasn't earlier. <laughs> VNAV. Enable it. Whatever. What did what did it do to the flight plan now? Just got rid of the approach. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Select approach. We went with this one. We already loaded this. So, let's try it again, I guess. 
Yeah, and it didn't put the... Got rid of the constraints. Imagine that. So, yeah, I don't know. Might have to just hand fly the approach. Well, we can put him in here now, since we're here. So, Oleo, 7800, then 6400. 6400. Jeekin, 6000. And. Losib. 500 Reno C, I don't know what that is. Renock. Don't know what that is. His D. Don't see you either. I don't know. This is an interesting one. Don't know. So we'll probably just end up uh, hand flying her. It says TODs in five minutes. So let's see what's our first constraint. 7800. 7800, yeah. So we'll set that in there. And then we'll wait for the uh, our purple indicator to pop up for VNAV. Top of descent right here. Cool. Get a, another minute or two out the window here. Pacific Ocean. They're beautiful Alaska. Oh, the schedule for this week. I think I started to go over it earlier, but I forgot. Uh, so today, flying from Skagway, Alaska, up to uh, Valdez, Alaska. So P A G Y is the airport code where we took off from, up to P A B D. And then Thursday, we'll be back 3 p.m. So the standard time. Uh, flying from Valdez Airport up to, I always forget how to say this airport name. Uh, I think it's uh, Unalakleet, Una, Una Una Alaska, on Thursday. And then from there, on Sunday, Unalakleet to Unalaska, Alaska. So that is the plan for this week. So 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Thursday, and then 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday for our Alaskan voyage this week. And then next week we'll be back. Next week we'll only have two streams, uh, but I will go over next stream, next week's stream schedule uh, on Sunday uh, this week and get you guys heads up for that week which is next week I'll have some family stuff going on next week so we'll have the Tuesday Thursday stream next week <clears throat> so that is the plan all right, where is my cursor? Let's jump back up front here as we are coming up on TOD, top of ascent. So we're actually coming back around. Didn't realize that. 
heading northwest, then going to come back around for the approach. Cool. TOD, one minute, 30 seconds. Then we'll be direct to our transition. Ba -na 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 -na, ba -na 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 -na. So let's go ahead and set vertical speed to zero. Then we will set 7,800 for our descent into Valdez. No, 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 no. Let's check the weather. I'm just gonna grab it on my laptop. Winds are zero five zero from the east, three knots. Altimeter twenty nine sixty four. Looks like the temperature is three degrees Celsius. And there is our purple arrow marker for our VNAV top of descent. Well, I guess, yeah, it's only half of VNAV, VNAV works. It just shows you what to set the vertical speed to. So we will match it. it says about 2,500 feet per minute. So we'll start with that. Probably take the speed down a bit too. have to disregard the annoying overspeed. Cool. Yeah, so the G5000, I think we went over it on Sunday stream, uh, two days ago. Uh, the VNAV should be fully functional. Uh, when the longitude gets the G5000 update. So that is going to be amazing. I'm so excited for that. I'm saying we should be descending lower. Whoops. to change our vertical speed, not our speed. Let's go 3,000 feet a minute. Actually, we'll just go a little faster to match up with the purple carrot. There she goes. Now yeah, bring it back up to about 2,500. Speed up a little bit here. 275-ish. Looks like we got one bird coming in in front of us. Um, he's only going about 190 knots, so. And we're looking way too high as well. Did we overshoot that turn? Yes. And I don't know where the airplane is going. Airplane, what are we doing? Oh, yoy. Direct to Oleo. Get it together, airplane. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what. What we're doing here, airplane. Yeah, we'll actually stay we'll stay at 270 on the descent. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get down either. We are awfully high. Yeah, that's why I need VNAV. That little wonky turn, I guess, giving us a little extra time. Maybe we'll vector ourselves anyway. We'll let this uh, FedEx bird in front of us. Don't want to cut him off. We'll just go in behind him. Oops, let's get you off of here. Not seeing him on the map. Take our vertical speed up some. So left turn here. We'll just vector ourselves. We'll let him uh, go in front of us. Is he moving or is he not moving? altimeter thing. They need to fix that too. This thing just does not work. Let's make another left turn here. So we don't... He's 9,000 feet below us. Oh, there he is. There's our traffic. I was wondering where he was. Alright, so we'll vector ourselves, let him go ahead of us, and I will try to mess with this annoying altimeter thingy. It just does not, like, fast or slow, it doesn't work. Come on, man. What was the altimeter? It was 29.64. It's pretty low. Is it because we're above 18,000? Like, I don't get it. Let's see. Okay, we cracked 18,000. Will, will that fix it? Uh, traffic, FedEx 1312, uh, we're vectoring ourselves, we'll let you go ahead of us uh, for runway 6 at Valdez. <laughs> cool. Roger. Um, okay, let's watch our VS.
Uh, can we get it now? Nope, still... Still does not work. Jesus, come on. If I hit B, there we go. B works, but that's still too low. 62, not 52. All right, whatever. We'll just hit B as we're coming in, if I remember. And we'll take the vertical speed up. Let's start our left turn. We need to do a 180. Backtrack to OEO. Make sure we don't hit any mountains at the same time. And keep the turn coming around. And bring our vertical speed up. Because we got a long turn ahead of us. Now let's get out the start the flight recorder software. Go through our checklist here. I am not prepared. Uh, minimums we set those. Uh, our speed, e speeds. Uh, let's see, our weight and balance. We are going to be we're at 29.6, so let's say 29.5. So 116 speeds. 116 and 128. Our V speeds all on, those are set, beautiful. Boom. Now let's go. Oops, yes, you're still annoying. Oh, Leo. Hello. Uh, scroll, please. Direct to Oleo, activate, we'll hit nav button on our and we got about fifteen miles. Yeah, I cannot wait for the split screens too, so we can have let's go ahead and pause our jams for this approach. <clears throat> And let's go 250 knots now so we don't get too close to our traffic. Uh, let's go top. Let's get the taxi landing lights on. Wing lights can come on. They're fully lit up here. Uh, let's zoom. Yes, you're annoying. Zoom our approach in here. Four miles. Cool, 10,000 feet. Can I hit the. Uh, I hit B, but it's still not 29,62, it's 53. Alright. ahead of us. Okay, we're at 250 knots, 10,000 feet. Looking good. Let's go ahead and arm our spoilers. Beautiful. And we are coming down slowly and surely. Need to be at 78 hundo, and then 6400. Actually, let's go ahead and set our Jeekin at 6,000 feet. Oh, I wonder if he's going to do the circle to land. Let's go 
240 on the speed. And let's go 6,000. The altitude, there we go. I really hope it goes to Patey next and not Sinus for a loop. Be here. Let's get our wing window heat on, engine heat as well. on the speed. And what's our... Actually, can we do... Activate leg? Or is this going to be weird? Has he landed yet? No. That's 6,000 here. I don't know what this airplane is doing. Direct to low sib, I guess. I don't know. Just all over the place. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we can't see a thing here. Where's our airport uh, elevation? Look at our route. That looks crazy. <laughs> Uh, 57. So, let's go ahead and set that in here. We'll just set it to 50 or 100. Slower down. Let's go 180 on the speed. Now we'll do 170. Let's go flaps one. And yeah, let's go my bird. Stow the spoilers. And are they still armed? Yes, they are still armed. Let's go 140 ish on the feed. The landing gear claps. And we'll go record. And Valdez traffic, citation five, two alpha, four mile final, runway six, Valdez traffic. Let's get the light director off. Oops.
Still got the auto throttle armed. Picking up some snow here. the runway. I forget where we are parking to. Alright, let's go. My throttles. Flaps are full. There's our runway lights. Oops, watch our speed here. A little too fast. Let's hit B. There we go. There's our altimeter. That's how it should be. Not too slow on the speed. See our runway now. Super windy. It's 130. Right where we need to be. Nice and easy. Bursters are out. Let's go manual brakes. 50 knots. We'll stow them. Welcome to snowy, rainy Valdez, Alaska. Let's see. Where is our taxi chart? We got to go all the way down. That's all good. Let's stop our clock. Hour and eight minutes in the air. I think our time was hour 31 in the air, so we crushed that. Beautiful. Zoom our map in here. And we are slow poking here. Thanks, Brownies. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was uh, that was a windy one for sure. We set our view here. That was a winter wonderland approach for sure. All right, clear the runway. It's the flaps up. Uh, spoilers automatically take themselves down. Let's go. Landing lights, top right off, strobes off. And weather is brutal here. Got some more mountains here. Glad those weren't really a factor. Nice. Oh. And yeah, Valdez traffic, citation 5 to Alpha, clear runway 6, taxi to the ramp. Valdez traffic. And I think we'll park. Let's see, where can we park here? I guess we could try if there's anybody out to park us. <clears throat> Actually, we'll go park over by the tower. The welcome to Valdez sign, I think, is over there.
Or actually, we'll park by the uh, the Valdez sign on the ground here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's paint it on the ground. And we'll get the taxi light off. It's painted on the ground here. It's pretty sweet. Cool. Let's park right next to it. Nice. That is good. Brakes. Awesome. All right. We will not set the park brake just yet. Uh, let's stop the recording on the replay. We will disconnect from VATSIM and the network so we don't mess anybody up. Let's get out some music for the replay. Move the yoke here. Um, turn off our pedo heat. Engine heat. Or engine anti-ice and wing anti-ice. All that good stuff. Um, what else do we need to shut off? Strobes are off, right? Strobes. Oops. Yeah, those are fine. Cool. Um, we'll start the APU when we taxi back after some replays. Let's run some jams, shall we? Get my controller here for some views. And let's go with this view first, shall we? Let's do it. All right, let's go replay, go. Play some music. Get the progress bar out of the way. Not much to see, I guess, on the replay with all the clouds and such. Oh, I forgot to finish our flight. Uh, let's go finish flights. Market stream. I knew I was forgetting something. Flight started. Oops. Oh well. Negative 48 on the landing. Nice. I'll take that. Let's close Sim Toolkit Pro. And our view isn't getting much better. Call outs work too. Nice. Are the flaps down? Sure they are. Oh yeah, they are for sure. Sit on the right side, kind of hard to see. All the clouds. Five hundred. Yeah, that was a windy approach. Windy. And cloudy. Yeah, well, it's interesting. Sim brief gave us an hour and thirty-one minutes in the air. We we're only at an hour and eight minutes, and we vectored. Did like some loops. Did a big loop. Nice, hold it, hold it. Hold the nose up. Nice, there's the ramp side. Yeah, one runway, one ramp here at Valdez Airport in Alaska. 
nice and easy peasy. It's a nice small Wayne Airport. I think it's 6,500 feet on the uh, runway. Uh, let's see. Let's run it back, shall we? Let's go. Pause. Reverse. Get this in the air again. Let's go to our drone camera, shall we? We can see much. Yeah, I'm digging this livery too. Love the livery. The excellence livery. Loving it. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Yeah, runway was kind of playing tricks on me. Nice. It is a winter wonderland out here in Alaska. Yeah, this is live weather. Not live time, but live weather. The coloring is amazing. Awesome. Wow, wow. Nice. Down in the mountains. That's pretty sweet. Nice. All right, let's run one from the. Let's go back inside. Let's run one from the gear camera. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. I'll go from about here. Bum 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 bum. Hello. Thanks for topping in. Good to see ya. That's a long name. I don't want to butcher it. But thank you. Appreciate it, my friend. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat. Happy Tuesday. Just in time for some replays. Thanks for joining us. To our approach to uh, Valdez, Alaska. Extra snowy today. Now I know, eh, nice and easy. Now I know why the the runway was playing tricks on me. It's like so up and down. It's like a wavy runway. Super wavy. All right, let's run one more. Do our do my favorite here. Pop you out. Our end of the runway. Follow. Locked camera. Um, we'll go reset you. And we'll 
we'll do one of those. We'll go you and you. And let's set our camera up at the other end of the runway if we can. Bum, 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 bum. Fly right over our head. Runway six, and its camera is so fast. Let's go pause, reverse. Scenery's probably got to reload. Oh, I can never get this just right. is hilarious how up and down it is <laughs> oh, we're way down there you can barely see the plane all right well let's set our camera we'll let the replay bring us back to the <clears throat> ramp here we'll set up our camera whoa hello airplanes by the Valdez sign or letters <clears throat> cool um, so we can jump back in our taxi in. Let's see. <clears throat> as soon as we clear the runway here. Oh, I love flying in the mountains. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right, clear the runway. Let's jump back up front. <clears throat> Start going through our after landing checklist. Let's go APU start. APU is starting. I always forget about these wing views. Forgot I even set them up. Can't see much today. Okay. APU is on 100%. So, let's go. APU gen on if we can see it. She is on. And we will let the replay bring us in. <clears throat> we lose our music. No. Yeah, what a bumpy airport. Bumps everywhere. Yeah, the Longitude is a beautiful bird. Can't wait for the G5000 that is going to be awesome sauce. Indeed. Good stuff. If only we could get the longitude with all of the PMDG car animations and passenger vehicles 
animations that would be that would be amazing and a working door that would be pretty sweet but not yet anyway don't know if we'll ever get that but awesome let's jump back in here so we got the gins for the APU on already turn a little light on here we want to let's pause our music here for shutdown let's go left and right gins off and we will stop both engines one and two. Oh, I never used my switch. Boom. Beacon off. Awesome. Cool. All right. Let's get some jams going. Have to run out of the song. Cool. Well, that is going to do it for today, guys. We are here in beautiful Alaska, uh, Valdez, Alaska, to be exact. I believe the uh, AP running as we sign off here. But yes, thank you all for hanging out with us, stopping by. If you did, or watching at a later date, appreciate each and every one of you guys. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's stream, guys. This was a, a fun one. Definitely recommend that route flying up the coastline of Alaska. Um, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, for, for tuning in today. Bart, Bart Tech, Brownies, Fly Guy, uh, Scorpy. Thank you all, everybody, for hanging out, flying with us today. Appreciate it, as always. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday, um, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we'll be firing up here um, at Valdez Airport, heading up to Nilakleet, if I'm pronouncing that right, Alaska. Uh, so continuing our Alaskan trek this week. Uh, so hope to see you guys there on Thursday. Uh, and as always, if you guys did enjoy today's stream video uh, and want to show your support to the channel, please do hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And as always, always appreciated. Any support, big or small, thank you each and every one of you guys. Um, let's see. I do live stream uh, weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays afternoons. Uh, so if you guys do hit the notification bell, uh, you'll be notified of all of our future streams, uploads, all that good stuff. You won't miss us when we go live. Um, I've also listed some of my favorite playlists uh, of our past streams. If you guys want to check them out, they're in the video description below. Uh, if you guys want to see any other airplanes, routes, liveries, sceneries that we've flown here in Microsoft Flight Sim, please do check them out. They are listed uh, below. And uh, yeah, again, thank you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. I always love sharing my flight sim experience with you guys and uh, hanging with you guys so we will see you in the next one uh, on thursday 3 p.m pacific standard time until then everybody have an awesome rest of your evening and the next couple days until then uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one later guys see ya peace